So go and accept the default installation folders. And enable forefront anti spam immediately. So after the wizard completes, we see that we've just installed the evaluation version of Forefront Protection 2010 Silver, which is the 120-day evaluation. So Forefront for Exchange provides both antivirus scan and anti-spyware transport scan, as well as anti-spam. So now that we've installed the edge transport rule, when we take a look at the send connector tab on the hub transport, we will see two send connectors being automatically created. One for the edge server at this particular Active Directory site to, to be able to send messages to the internet. And the other sends inbound messages from the internet to internal exchange hub transport servers. And because we are now using the edge transport rule to send emails outside the organization, we no longer need this previous send connector that was created for the hub transport server to make SMTB connections to the outside. So we're going to remove this connector or we could actually disable it. I'm going to disable this connector. And back on the edge server, we see that there is a default internal receive connector already created for us and that the anonymous group already has access to this connector. And lastly, what we need to do is configure our firewall to forward SMTP traffic to the IP of the edge server instead of the hub transport server.